Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is not Sunday and I'm really sorry for this. I couldn't upload on Sunday. I do have other responsibilities and last week was crazy. I just couldn't film, I couldn't upload anything. But I'm here today, I hope you understand. And I am glad that I did this look because I wanted actually to do something really fast and simple, um, but it turned out to be glam. <laughs> Uh, anyway, the thing is, uh, this is a makeup look that I would wear for Oktoberfest if I would go this year, but I'm not. So now let's jump into this makeup look because it's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to start with the eyes guys first because I just know myself I'm going to make a mess underneath my eyes and it's not pretty when you have to clean up after doing your base and everything after all that work you know. So I'm using here a cream eyeshadow which is in this lilac-y violet -y kind of color. This is from Maybelline I think. I'm going to put every single product underneath so that you know what I'm using. But I'm doing here a halo eye that means uh, darker on the outer corners and inner corners. The best tip I can give you when it comes to makeup is that you need to layer your product it doesn't matter what it is foundation and eyeshadow the secret is to put less at the beginning and add more as you go because if you go straight in with your product you're not going to be able to blend it out and it's just not going to look good or professional so as you can see this is my technique what i've said before i'm applying i'm doing what i'm preaching you know i am applying layer by layer i am also blending out in between until i'm happy with how it looks until i get that 3d effect that i'm looking for and i'm just taking my time with it you know I've talked about this many times about this um, photoshopped look. I love applying a darker eyeshadow and then in the end go over the edges with a very light one and this is gonna give you that blown out effect. Next step is to take a reddish matte eyeshadow. This one is from Makeup Factory, I think, yeah? And go over that um, mauve lilac -y eyeshadow, that cream eyeshadow. I know people say you should mix mauves with reds, but I love how it looks, and nowadays you can do whatever you want, isn't it? <laughs> Right, but basically I'm just going over that mauve as I've said and I am stamping this first into my skin into that mauve eyeshadow and then slightly lightly I'm going over the edges with the same brush with the rest of my product, what's left on the brush, you know. Again, layering. This is very important, guys, because your makeup is going to last so much longer if you do this. Oh, and here, I just, of course, forgot to uh, show you the product I'm using, but you're going to see it in the end of this video again. This is from L'Oreal. It's called Something With Gold, I think. Um, I'm not quite sure, but anyway, it's a single eyeshadow and the whole range. It's so good. I did use eyeshadows from this range in my past tutorials, and I was blown away how good they are, and this one, the gold one is one of my favorites. I loved this look on Kim Kardashian that Mario did on her and this is like a, you know my take on that look It's not exactly copied but it goes in that direction so on the middle of the lid I want the lighter eyeshadow to pop to really pop and that's up to the brow and um, you know the rest of it darker and darker as I go further away. So as I've said, for this look, I'm passing the crease line. I'm not stopping there. I'm going up to the brow and uh, also on the lower lash line, I'm going to do the same thing. But look at this, Mario is a genius makeup artist. He was absolutely right. This completed the wet look on Kim. I'm moving on to my base now. I'm applying a hydrating moisturizer from La roche Posay, then my face primer from Benefit, and then my foundation from NYC. This I'm never gonna be without. I love how it looks on my skin. I love the color of it, the consistency. It's like a moussey, very thin consistency, and it also um, minimizes the pores you know the appearance of my pores it 
at least doesn't make them look bigger or anything and it's very very airy and light on my skin you don't feel that you have anything on your face needless to say i am the biggest fan of this foundation it just has everything i'm looking for in a foundation another very good product is the uh, fit me concealer from maybelline i'm using now two shades uh the number 20 and number 15 i think i'm gonna pop everything down below as i've said and i am blending out everything with the same dampened sponge from Rio techniques so the idea is to create like a 3d effect to your face where you apply your concealer so the lighter product is going to be brought forward that area and where you put your bronzer and um, contouring powder is going to appear sunken in this is a great technique if you want to hide something put it into shadow if you want to bring it forward put light on it just like in real life <laughs> it's no difference but joking aside i am uh, applying now a powder which is a loose powder from uh, maybelline this is one of my favorites again a very good product it's so finely milled i think it's a great product and especially applied like this with a dampened sponge press the product into your skin and your makeup is gonna last so much longer but my tip for you is don't apply too much don't go overboard and don't for christ's sake don't bake if you are that kind of girl good do your thing um, but I think no one looks good with that technique it's just my opinion I hope you're not too mad of me for, for saying this but no one looks good in real life with this technique it makes you look old trust me and anyway pressing the product into your skin is enough is enough for every single one of us you don't need to go overboard to apply like an extra amount of powder on your skin and I'm tracing underneath my cheekbones and only there with Sculpt, which is from MAC, a sculpting powder. And this is like a grayish brown. It's not a warm brown. It's not a neutral brown. It's a grayish brown. And this can make you look ashy and dead if you apply it anywhere else. So be aware. And for my nose contour, I'm always mixing a very warm bronzer, which I've used previously, with a grayish brown. A small amount of that and I'm doing like a neutral color. I'm like mixing and making my own color. Now I'm using the blusher from Too Faced in something about berry. It's one of my favorites. It goes with so many lilac-y looks. It's amazing. For highlighter, I'm going to take a palette with three highlighters from Catrice. It's a new one and I'm taking that middle shade, which is like a gold one, a champagne one. But oh my god, this is so good. This is such a good product. And for this price, amazing. Really, look at this. It's not glittery or chunky in any way. Um, it's just how I like it. I, I love this wet look and this is a good product. And now I'm going to coat my top lashes with this mascara from YSL. This is a good one, but it transfers. So I'm just applying it on my top lashes, on my bottom ones. As usual, I'm going to put a waterproof mascara. But right now, I am applying false lashes, which are those ones from Ardell. And they are favorites because I think they make look good any look. Another trusty product is this one, a pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Ash Brown. This is my color and today I'm doing like a strong brow. It just, it turned out like this. And now let's finish off the eye, shall we? I'm doing the bottom, la um, the bottom lash line and I am going to put more intensity on the outer part of it and on the inner part of it. And on the middle of it, I'm just gonna put the same um, product from Stila, which was the liquid glitter. <laughs> 
I love applying a eyeshadow. It doesn't matter if it's a cream one, cream, <laughs> like a cream one or like a powder one with a flat brush. I think I have more control like this. And um, now I'm just going to blow out that cream eyeshadow. And in the middle of it, I'm going to put the same glitter, which was from Stila. I love this one. Everyone does. And I'm just going to put as much as I can. You know how it happens. Sometimes you just go overboard. No, no biggie. Bottom lash mascara from MAC extended play mascara this is the best one it's waterproof and it really doesn't budge that's the reason I love it so much and comparable to this one is one from L'Oreal it's also very very good it's waterproof that one as well I love it and in the inner rims of my eyes I'm just gonna put this product which is a gel eyeliner in dark diversion from MAC oh and look at this this is the product I've talked about at the beginning of this video this is the eyeshadow from L'Oreal in gold something and uh, this will just highlight the inner corners of my eyes and lastly I'm putting on a liquid lip from essence which was a bit streaky and also drying on my lips I just um, I think it's not a perfect formula but I mean for this money I'm not gonna rail against it I can live with it So guys, I really do hope you liked my video as always and if you did, give a thumbs up and subscribe here to my channel if you have. Thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate that and also follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook and Vero. Those three, three. So thank you for watching this video, guys. You are amazing. I love you so much. Bye. Bye.